Hello everyone, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. Just wanted to give you guys an update on the Belly Goat Debris Loader. So uh, I put a patch on the bottom of the... Uh, you can kind of see the, the seam of it right there. Put a, put a patch on the bottom of the uh, housing where that had taken some abuse. What had happened was the, uh, the liner that goes on the inside, which I'll, uh, I'll be doing a video on that, putting the new liner in. But the old liner, it had chewed through the old liner, and rather than replace it, they just kept running it. And then it ate a hole in the very bottom, in the middle of the housing. So I, uh, I just cut out all of the damaged material and slapped a uh, eighth inch sheet metal patch over the top of it, which is thicker than the original metal. So and then right here, I pulled the gas tank and the brackets out and cleaned all this up and repainted it. It was uh, all rusty, you know, surfaced rust from where debris had fallen in there and was just sitting in there holding moisture. So I did the same thing over here on the battery pan. Just put the battery back in and uh, so that's where I'm at on the blower. Now this thing's ready to go other than the liner. So right now I'm working on this. This is going to be my bracket or frame, I guess, that's going to hold the billy goat vacuum onto the trailer. So I have all tube frame so basically the engine side of the debris loader will be on this side and uh, the hose will be facing out and this is just going to hang on the trailer gate that's my plan now i may need to put a piece across the top here i probably will just you know just to make sure that it's strong enough sturdy enough and then I'll also be running a cross brace from here, uh, yeah, somewhere in this area, over to the frame on the billy goat. So, so this side beam probably bolt in right there, somewhere up towards the top. So that'll help support the weight of the top of it, so that it's not all dependent on the bottom of that frame. And then over here, I'll have to figure something out because the muffler is actually in the way. So I'll either have to make a shorter 90 degree or maybe come up above it and go into the housing. Uh, that might actually be doable going into the, into the housing as long as I use a pan head bolt on the inside. There's already, I don't know if you can see it, but there's already pan head bolts on the inside anyways everywhere that... Uh, the guards and the liners and stuff are bolted in, so that's not a big deal. I can definitely do that. But that is the plan. I'm getting it welded up. I can only weld for so long on the highest setting with my welder before I have to let the gun cool down. So I've got most of this part welded up, and I just need to finish up the base part. And then once I get that painted up, then I can bolt the uh, billy goat to it and then use the chain hoist and just back the trailer up under here. So a uh, quick update on the hinges. So this is the new hinge and this is the new hinge. So I was going to put the new hinge below this, but it actually hung down below the door a little bit, which it wasn't necessarily in the way, but I wouldn't have been able to weld the bottom edge. So I decided to just go ahead and stack it on top like I did the, uh, the top one and either way that should be more than enough should be more than enough support so this unit the uh, the debris loader with the 35 horse Vanguard weighs under 400 pounds it's uh, actually it says there's a tag on here if I can remember where it's at so, yeah, there's a tag right here. 368 pounds is what the unit weighs. Of course, you add the weight of the hose. I'm not sure if that's included, which the hose doesn't weigh a lot, 
but there's a lot of strain with that hose out here. And then of course your, your elbow that goes up into your loader. Um, I'm sure that, you know, the fuel is part of that weight. And then I'm going to have the weight of this, I'm going to have the weight of this frame. So I'm looking at at least 400 pounds, maybe 400 plus when I get everything put together and hanging on that trailer gate. 400 pounds should not be any issue, especially with, you know, doubling up on the hinges, but we'll see. Um, I do know that a couple of the guys that have some really nice uh, debris loader setups with the 37 horse Vanguard, uh, Nickens Lawn Care, and then also Spencer's Lawn Care, they both have the uh, debris loader hanging on the gate. Now both of them have it on this side, which I would do, except my latch is on this side, and I don't want to mess with that. I've already I've already done more welding <laughs> and fabricating on the trailer than I wanted to do, so uh, so it's not an issue for me not having it on this side. It'll actually work good on this side for the way we do our cleanups, and so both of them have one extra hinge. Uh, Nickens has like a bolt style hinge, and it's right in the middle, and then Spencer's Lawn Care they had. Uh, they had a whole new door fabricated to mount the uh, debris loader onto. So they're, and Nickens set up also, they're actually welded, mounted everything right to the door. And they both have three hinges. So I figured with, uh, with me doing doubling up on the hinges, and I didn't just double them up, I actually, actually welded them together. So they're actually joined together to make it like one solid hinge and then it has one bolt running all the way through it. Um, I did some extra welding on the factory hinge, you know, just basically every point of contact that I could weld up, I did to make it make sure it was as strong and beefy as it could be. So really the only way to know if it's going to work or not is to get it on there and try it out. If I, uh, if I start to have any issues, I can always you know, add add a couple more hinges in there. I've got room to do that. I could also add some gussets. Uh, that was something that Spencer's suggested. They have a gusset plate right here below the hinge on theirs to add some support. So anyways, that's where I'm at on that. And then the other thing that I had to do a lot of patching on was this tube. And you can see the patch pretty well. So what had happened, at some point this had gotten dropped and it put a big dent in it right here. Well that dent making a concave and the debris coming up through here, it, it almost immediately started wearing through and so there was uh, like two or three places through here where there was actually a hole worn in it. And uh, it was just where it was pushed in where it had gotten dented up. And so what I did is I just cut all that material out and I put these patches on and um, I overlapped it you know about an inch all the way around so from here all the way down to here and then all the way around to here on the other side that's all new metal so uh, then again I went just a little bit thicker than the factory metal to give it to give it something to wear on because you know inside that inside that debris loader is just like a sandblaster and this pipe has no liner so you know eventually that metal will wear through anyway but uh, it shouldn't wear through for a long long time and that's that's kind of the area that gets the most abuse to that that bend so that's all done and painted up it's uh, actually freshly painted so it's drying hinges are done Debris loader's done except for the liner, and then this should be done today. Um, in fact, I need to I need to quit gabbing and get off here and go ahead and finish this up so I can get it all cleaned up and painted. And uh, I've already fitted on the trailer gate; fits on there great. So the only thing left to do is just get it uh, get it finished up and get the vacuum mounted to it, and then try it out. So we'll do that soon, and I'll update you guys on how that's going. So as always, thanks for watching. Get out there and make some money, and we'll catch you on the next one.